Hey there, everybody, this is Shadigo, and welcome to uh, something I've not done in a while. It's a uh, Shadigo Tries uh, video, and I'm going to be playing this game. It's called Ink, it's on Steam, and it is by Zach Bell Games. You can get, like I said, you can get it on Steam. Uh, the main game is actually available for three ninety nine. Or you can get the deluxe edition for like a pound more, and I probably would recommend you get the uh, deluxe edition. All it really comes with is just the full game, uh, some concept art, and the soundtrack. And in my opinion, the soundtrack is really, really amazing. It's really mellow. It's really atmospheric, and uh, yeah, it's well worth the pound just to get the soundtrack, in my opinion. But uh, hey, you're not here for my opinions, probably. You're here for me to play video games. I've already done some uh, some of the things. I've actually got up to stage 14 just to really just test the recording and uh, seeing whether my uh, new gamepad works. I'm using an Xbox One wired controller because my old Xbox 360 controller died. Well, it sort of not died, it still sort of works, but uh, on rare occasions the cable kind of like. I don't know what's up with it, but it's the cable near the controller. Um, if, it, if it bends at an awkward angle, it shots out, and uh, well, that's a bad ta that's a bad thing, especially when I'm playing on PC because sometimes it doesn't uh, end up doing stupid things. Um, you might have actually seen this problem in a recent Samurai Boys video where it was doing the blurb thing, and then just suddenly Insert Controller One showed up. Uh, that was why. But anyway, we're going to start with the one. So you press A and D to move, you can, like I said, you can use an Xbox joypad. Uh, this game is basically a sort of, um, like one of those, indie, it's an indie platformer. So basically, you've got to get to the, uh, this, I'll be this white square here. we got to go to this uh, rainbow thing here. Through any means necessary, we also have the ability to jump. And we also have dual jump. Now, you, as you can see, this game is really, really basic. It's just you, the cube, and all other things. But uh, in case you haven't noticed, we run around with a little trail of paint, just like me by does like a trail of guru. Uh, when he walks around, and this is how you get to see what the level's like, because uh, about here is, I think there's a gap, and you can actually tell, you can actually, well, as you can see there. If you want to see more of the level, you can actually do door jumps and uh, splash paint all over the place. Uh, you can also splash paint by dying, which can also become somewhat of a gimmick uh, later on. I've not actually seen it as a gimmick for later on because I've only really done like 14 stages and uh, it's only really showing me like the basic things. There's also, there's also hidden stuff around, so you've got to like, paint those to do it. Um, I've actually found one of these whilst I was playing and didn't realise it, because I actually have uh, part ways towards the achievement for it. Um, yes, this game does feature Steam achievements, I've actually gotten like two of them. Uh, one for dying like 10 times in 30 seconds, because I suck at these sort of games like that. And um, one for dying for the first time, which is pretty easy to do because it's one of these sort of indie games. Um, also, with this game, uh, the controls are actually rather slippery. Uh, I noticed this when I was playing this initially, but I've kind of been having a decent time of it so far. But uh, that's just me. Also, sometimes I kind of fail double jumps. Well, usually because of like how slippery the thing is, and I'm just like. You notice that when I jump, I end up doing the paint splotch for the uh, double jump. That's probably because I'm missing the um, probably missing my chance to actually double jump. Uh, now this level actually has enemies in it, and uh, another gimmick of this uh, game is in order to actually uh, unlock the exit, you actually have to. Um, defeat all the enemies, if there's enemies in the level. Then you've also got to get to the exit, which uh, 
can sometimes be trouble problems in and of itself. Now I know you can well, you can sort of double kill everything in here. Pretty sure you can shot you can just hot hump and you can just bop bop the first guy and then you'll find the head of the second guy straight away. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen and I end up getting killed. Yeah, these are like the basic concepts. Like, yeah. Just bop, bop all the enemies and go into the exit. There's also bosses in this game. I've actually, like I said, I've not actually encountered one because uh, this level, I believe, is level 14 and this is about as far as I've gotten. And this is the first, like, proper large level, it's so uh, pretty big. Oh yeah, the enemies also kind of like die and explode into gear as well, so uh... Oh, basically just anything in this game will just splash the uh, ground in humans wise. So, here and out, this is me being blind, I don't know what's uh, going to be happening here. Oh, those are one of the hidden things. I kind of have to completely, completely cover it in paint, and uh, I don't know whether you actually have to uh, collect it to have it count, or whether you just need to reveal it. But there's that though. That's the only one I know because I've seen a few people play this game. Um, well, really, I've only really seen that. Uh, I saw Bert Affy do a, uh, sort of something similar to what I'm doing, like, like uh, a let's look at sort of thing, uh, for this game, and I believe this was, like, one of the first levels he did. Well, that was one of the first levels he did. And I think that was one of the things I actually saw, because he actually got that on accident, purely on accident. So yeah, this game you really have to uh, go. If you've got platformers like Super Meat Boy, it's not really that much of a problem. But uh, I gotta be honest, I was never really any good at Super Meat Boy. Um, I think I pretty much I pretty much gave up at the Salt Factory. It was like I uh, can't really bother with this game anymore. Not that I got salty or anything, but it's just uh, yeah, I just. Kill the guy. <laughs> I'm purely an accident. But yeah, this this game's kind of like those um, sort of games like Meat Boy. Can't really think of any other examples of the genre that I I don't really play very many of them. Oh, well, I died though. Like I said, sometimes because of the way this the uh, thing the things laid out, sometimes you just start somewhere, it's just completely blank, you just have nowhere to go, and you just run somewhere and then you die. And you're like, oh right, that was a platform like over there. Under this stuff over here, answer is no. So kind of went the right way in the first place. Uh, I kind of like the, also should mention, really do like, as Paul mentioned it already, really do like the aesthetic of this game, just like splatters and ink and stuff everywhere, especially since uh, I'm, one of those, I'm one of those people who do play Splatoon a lot, and that is about, that is a game about ink and territory. And I've also done a let's try, I did a let's try of the uh, initial demo. Uh, I don't know why I'll be doing a let's try the full game. I'm, to be honest, if I was going to do a let's try the full game, I would have done it already, but. Uh, it's, it's, more or less, it's more or less the same thing as the, uh, as the demo, anyway. It's still pretty great. Still pretty great Wii U game. You've got a Wii U game, I really do recommend you get Splatoon, but. Uh, I shouldn't be talking about different games, but I should be talking about Ink. And, well, to be honest, I've kind of like 
Yeah. I really have said what I wanted to say about this game. It's really great, it's really cheap, it's fun, simple, easy aesthetic. Like it. Use it's atmospheric, like that as well. I ha I actually have the soundtrack and I've listened to all the other soundtracks that I've not to you know, that I'm not actually able to actually even uh, listen to anyway because of how I record my uh, how I actually record the um, gameplay whilst I do commentary because uh, I use a desktop mic and uh, if I have uh, volume on my desktop mic and it'll just go through the desktop mic and it'll just be painful to sort out I uh, finally managed to beat this though because I keep dying to the last enemy of that Is this vertical scrolly or horizontal scrolly? I think it's vertical scrolly, let's be honest. And the exit's probably all the way up there. I think I already said one of the main problems about this game is occasionally the um, I really, really not had any problems with it, I may have gotten used to it by now. But uh, it is actually it is rather slippy slidy. That, that the controls are really slippy slidy at times. But uh, today I haven't really had that many problems with it, but that might just be because I've gotten used to the control the uh, the game's physics by now. I'll be, I'll be honest though, a lot of like indie platformers like things like this do actually have rather slippery controls, so I shouldn't really be surprised. Oh uh, yeah, I shouldn't really be surprised that I'm dying a lot because I have a one hit point one now and these things just outright kill me because I don't know what they're trying to kill me for, but uh, they're trying to kill me, it's not pretty. And I died as I was trying to get to the exit. I just better just ink that up right now because uh, if I don't ink that, ink that up right now I'm going to get lost again and just completely die. Let's kill you. Push that point there. Alright, so this is Sandy level. Um, I said throughout I think I've already said this there's achievements of the game is another one of those hidden things like right there. Oh you do actually need to collect it. Um hmm. Which begs the question on how do I collect the other one from earlier? Oh well. I kind of forgot what I was going to say before, but uh, you know, that's just me, I, I'm always doing stupid things like that. Oh yeah, I, was, I remember now, I'm going to talk about the achievements. Um, I believe there's 16 achievements for this game, it's another one of those hidden things though. Grab that, no. Die, could pull out to collect it again. I think they, they kind of remind me of the bandages in me, but. Except, like, the rest of this game, it's completely freaking invisible, so you're gonna have to. Oh, boy, this is gonna be one of those. This is gonna be one of those where you kind of have to. you kind of essentially doing a blind jump. I'm completely messing up at the end. Yeah, I think this is where it might be a problem is you're not actually used to the slider controls of this game. Is these single block tiles.
I mean, not realizing why the, um... Flowers are also living to my death, so... That's that as well. Oh, hey, I managed to get it without so dying, that's pretty great. And then I die anyway. I think I'm not going to bother with that, because I'm just going to put in that for like half an hour and you just... And just be like, maybe you shouldn't bother getting that, so uh, I might just end up getting that off, off screen while I'm playing this game casually. Oh jeez, I'm going to box. That's fine, I was actually going to... Uh, call this one like the last level anyway. But yeah, here's a boss. He's quite the boss, he's just going to slam down and I'm going to have to jump his shot with and bounce him in the head. And hey, we beat him, that was kind of easy. Also, we achievement not get, because, uh, yeah. Game was achievements, and in case you didn't see that one, uh, all the achievements in this game, uh, I'll have puns on the word ink. Just so you know. But anyway, this has been Shadow Go, this has been Let's Play Inc. I recommend you get this game, it's pretty dirt cheap and uh, it's likeable. Very atmospheric, very aesthetic y. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time for when I decide to do another Shadow Go Tries thing. Which hopefully shouldn't be as long as a gap as uh, since the last one. Anyway, take care and I'll see you guys then. Ciao!